Hey, what up, decisive marketer? So we are back again with another product review today, and it's called Mobi Roller. Now it sounds similar to Shopee Roller because it is done by the same development team, right? The same company behind these two products, and so Mobi Roller is a little bit different from Shopee Roller because Mobi Roller, well, I mean they are completely different tools, but. Uh, Mobi Roller is a mobile app creator, right? Whereas Shopee Roller is an e-commerce store creator. Now, I believe that because you know Shopee Roller gives you a mobile app, I believe it's sort of done through Mobi Roller somehow, right? So um, I'm I have reviewed um, stacks. I've also sort of reviewed. At my site before, I can't recall, but you know, let's check out Mobi Roller and see how it works, right? But before I dive into Mobi Roller, be sure to hit that subscribe button if you like to see more digital marketing and e-commerce content, right? So let's jump in. So here we are in Mobi Roller. Uh, as you can see, uh, you know, it's, it's empty right now, so I'm gonna start creating an app. Okay, so the most important. Okay, so we gotta put in the name, right? <laughs> Okay, so continue. Okay, so I got to choose a template. Um, not many of the templates are exciting to me, <laughs> so they look kind of still. I think this one is kind of nice. I think it's mostly the sort of like the icons that they use. I think this one is nice as well. Maybe let's choose this one, right? Let's see, you know, what we can do with this. So templates wise, it's okay. Some nice ones, some not so nice. Okay, so the app generation is completed successfully. So you can now create your mobile app through the control panel. So go to the control panel. Okay. So let's see how it works. Okay, so enter my app info, blah, blah, blah. So I gotta add in content. Oh, we can jump in and add a content right here. So these are the features that I can have in my app. So I can have a standard content. Uh, I can even have e-commerce feature in there. So I believe what is sort of happening right here is that if you have Mobi Roller and Shopee Roller, then you could create like additional features in your mobile app and have the e-commerce feature on Mo uh, Shopee Roller, right? So I believe that's how it works. Uh, but you gotta enable some of those stuff in there. Okay. Let's see what standard content is. So basically you put a title, the text, the background image, and I think that's all. So this one is really a simple, simple app. Right, so I don't have anything right here. Let's save it. Okay, so we got one item right here. Okay, what else do we have? Okay, content. So we can add more modules. We can add IPTV. So that means you can actually stream, right? So you can actually put a stream link right here. Let's kind of see what else we have. We can add a website. So this is quite straightforward. 
I don't think we need to check that out, right? So then we've got the custom HTML screen. Okay, so I think this is much better than the standard content, right? Because you can put HTML content in here. And let's see. You can add sub menus. You can add Sambert, uh chat messaging. Let's see what this is. Doesn't seem to work right here. How about YouTube Pro? Nope. In app purchase product catalog so I guess this is just like a product catalog put in the products right categories and products that's all I guess this would be nice like you could let's say if you were to go for a trade show or convention you have a booth right there you can ask people to download the app and access your product catalog from there Right, that would be convenient. You can add forms, you can add news and announcements. Let's see what this is. Okay, it's more like a, you know, sort of really like a RSS feed right here. Okay. I think this is like nice, you know, having the RSS feed. Because then you can embed your YouTube in there, right? So if you want people to watch your YouTube, uh, you know, if you have a very popular YouTube channel, I think it makes a lot of sense. For example, like a kids channel, right? Something like that. Kids channel. And then what else we've got? Uh, flight tickets, map, about, ask. Photo gallery, favorites, Twitter, link, uh, Instagram, YouTube. Let's see what YouTube is. So it's mainly, you know, sort of showcase like how your YouTube is. Uh, how is the YouTube account? How does the YouTube account work? Let's try it there. Okay, enter a valid YouTube account. Isn't this my YouTube account? <laughs> that is my YouTube account, right? Um, yes, it is so I'm not sure what they are asking for right here. I think it's like my YouTube channel Which is this one right here So let's try this one Yep, I think it works now so like YouTube channel, okay? Let's save this so we can now check out the app. Play. So I'm not like testing out all the modules because you know, as you can see, just to view how it looks like takes a while. So let's see if we click on the YouTube channel, and we can see all my YouTube videos in here. So that's very nice, I would say. Right, so you can really create something nice. I mean, because for example, like I think like Blippy, which is a you know a kids channel, right? So you could have like event dates. You know, you can update your events all in there, and then you got your YouTube channel. You know, and then like people download it, they can just access. Or if you are, for example, you are banned, right? So I think that's very. You know, I think that's amazing. If you are a, let's say you are a musician, you are a band, uh, what happens is that you can, have your, you can have your YouTube channel in here, you can have your SoundCloud or whatever, Spotify, and then you can have 
uh, you know your 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 upcoming concerts and events, all in there. I think that's just brilliant. Very very nice. Uh, you know, app maker right here. Uh, what else? So FAQ. You know, contact, PDF viewer, Flickr, and all that stuff. You know, let's check out what is settings. So I guess this is just like the settings page which probably gives you know like notification settings and stuff like that on the uh, mobile app okay uh so this takes me back to my apps which is not what i want oh there are some planned modules so let's check that out okay so plan modules these are the ones that are not live yet so like loyalty cards and uh, some cool stuff right here, CRM. Okay. So uh, let's go to dashboard. So we can see, um, you know, we can set up push notifications from here. Uh, appearances, so you can kind of change the design loading animation the navigation bar and all that stuff whether you want to exit the app you can have a confirmation as well the menu settings right do you want it like this you know what kind of menu type no. or you can have a slide out menu not really sure what that Classic menu is list menu top sliding menu. Okay, some different designs right here, and then the login settings. So, do you want this way or this one? You know, I think this these are nice. Uh, and then whether you want it to have the logo as well, I think the login screens are nice. Uh, nice designs, and then uh, any form information that is being placed in. Okay, so if you add a form in your app, then anyone who submits them will come in here and then the login. So you want to enable login or not. Okay, and then Google login. Uh, so basically these are like your management features on your profile whether you want to enable them or not any intro messages when you open the screen right and then any advertisements and in-app purchases okay so if you have apps you can insert advertisements and uh, sort of earn adsense from there right okay and then in-app purchases and then some e-commerce features and i guess that's about it right um i would say that the ui is not it's kind of oh it's not like shoppy roller which is a lot more you know a lot nicer i would say this one kind of feels a little clinical or like 10 years ago or something like that. <laughs> I, th I feel like it's a little bit outdated, right? Just kind of look at the UI. But I don't think it's a bad thing. I think a lot of uh, the content, right? The, the, the call it content, the uh, uh, sort of screens that you, you can have is a lot more. They have a lot of uh, sort of screens that they have in here. Uh, a little bit of comparison between Mobi Roller and Stacks uh, mobile app builder, right? Is that Stacks you can create, uh, you create it, you create them by sort of like blocks in there, you just sort of drag and drop blocks into a page. But for Mobi Roller, it's sort of like one feature, one uh, modules, and it it is the entire page of the app itself so i don't i don't 
know if it's a good or bad thing. Uh, I think that it is. I think stacks is much more customizable, but Moby Roller is much easier to use, right? You know, just sort of click, 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 and then you are ready to go, right? Uh, yep. So overall, I think that Moby Roller is good, especially if we can have the you know sort of the shopee roller and uh moby roller integration and then i think that would be amazing so i guess that's all i have to share um you know you can have i managed to uh, activate the shopee roller module as well so right and then you can just sort of integrate it with Moby Roller, and you can en enter the you know, sort of Android and uh, iOS ID, and then you can create your app through Moby Roller, right? So I guess that's all I have to share about Moby Roller. I think overall, it's uh, it's it's an app builder that is not as customizable, but you know, the thing is, it has very nice features, and you know, the templates are nice. You can just, you know, it's it's way easier to to build something with Moby Roller than something else i would say so i guess that's all i have to share about mobile roller if you enjoyed this video do give me a thumbs up if you know anyone who could benefit from a mobile app builder be sure to share this video with them lastly let me know what you think about mobile roller in the comments below i'll see you in my next video bye bye